strategist, technical trainer, and owner of Nina Simone Consulting. So this question comes from a business mastermind group member, of course. If you're not in the group, go ahead and go to Facebook and search for Business Masterminds. You can ask any question you want, and I'll create a video if it's within reason or a quick answer. So um, the member was trying to uh, take a look at, I'll show you the image basically. This is the original image here. Okay. And what she wants to do is make the image look a little more, um, she wants to, to blend it more. It's hard edges and it just, as you can see, it just doesn't look like one picture. It looks like a couple pictures put together. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to blend them a little bit and how to kind of change the image basically so it looks more natural. So it actually looks like this. Okay, let's get started. Just in case it was hard for you to see in the pictures that I had, on the left side, you'll see at the bottom where I circled, it's spacing between the pencils and the rip paper. On the right side, I basically combined them where it looks like you're ripping into the pencils. So, um, Okay, now that I have your three files, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to remove all of this and make this transparent. Then I will put this one on top, uh, actually, you have one like that. So we'll just remove the middle, put this one on top of this, and we'll drag it out to get the effect that I believe you want. So I'm actually gonna use paint for that. Let me pause and I'll get everything set up. Okay, I have paint open. What I'm gonna do is simply open the one that you had with the ripped paper. Okay, I am going to use my magic wand to delete everything very quickly. I'm gonna plug in my laptop first. <laughs> okay, so you'll see that I pressed the button. It was pretty easy, but it's getting some of this in because of colors. Basically what the magic wand does to explain it to you is it um, looks at the pixels or the colors. So basically what I'm gonna do is, and I'm accidentally zooming in, I'm going to change the tolerance at the top so it that looks pretty accurate there's some that are still up there but what I'll do is I'll delete this just gonna press my delete key okay and it took away that um, inside we want this to show through so we can get the pencils in so I'm just gonna save this Now when you save the image, you do want to make sure, you could leave all of these as default, but you want to make sure when it prompts you that you select PNG. And actually, I'm sorry, this is already an image that I have that I opened. So I don't have to select PNG, it already was a PNG. If you were to do file save as, so that's when you select that. So anyways, I'm going to close this. Actually, I don't even need to close it. I'm going to open the second image. Okay, so I have my image up. I do want to change my tool back to a regular move and select. For now, I'm just going to do Control A to copy. Excuse me, Control A to select all, Control C to copy. I'm going to move back to my original image by just clicking here at the top. Okay, and now I'm going to create a new layer, and this seems to be moving really, really slow. I don't know why. Um, maybe I have too many things open. But um, I'm going to click on layers. If your layers isn't here, it's this icon at the top that you, can, that you can show the menu. But to create a new layer, there is a button here. It looks like a new layer and it has the plus. My computer is moving a little slow. I think I have too many things open right now. That's probably taking up a lot of memory. But I'm going to press the button. Okay, and it creates a new layer and we want to drag that to the bottom so my there's some I'm having some issues with my computer so I have to do things and then record after but I basically just dragged it to the back to the back one thing is um, on the top it's fine but on the bottom it's not large enough so I am going to hide the background on the top by unchecking the background button here and what it will do is it will only show the layers that 
are actually checked. And so it's still there, it's just not actually showing. So I should have probably resized this before I did it. It would have been easier, but I'm going to do this a different way. Let me zoom out. And I'm actually going to pull this side because I know that it was a little off. And then I'm going to put it where I think it is. And you could do this with both layers, but it's easier for me to do it with only one layer showing. So now I'm going to check the background. Um, well, it's called background. You could always change those names but I'm gonna check it so it will display again and we can see how it is showing sorry that there's such a delay so you just keep on playing with it over and over again until you get um, how you want it so I'm gonna leave this on this time and I'm just going to kind of move this around and you could drag it to how you want okay and then you could rename the layers by just right clicking on it and making the pencil the background or whatever you want but you can rename it um, by right clicking but for now I'm just going to save it so I'm going to save it twice I'm going to save it as a paint document so I can come in and edit it but I'm also going to save it as a PNG so if I'm done or if I want to move to other applications Okay, so to do this, I'm going to do File, Save As instead of Save, and make sure this says a P, um, PND file. So, and you want to name it. Just going to name it whatever. And then you can go to File, Save As, and this time we will save it as a PNG file. and it will ask you to flatten it which we do want to and there you go now you have let me zoom in now you have your nice pretty blended background hey so did you like that little tutorial if you have questions on social media management, technical questions, or any how-to questions that have to do with your business, go ahead and hop over to Facebook and look for Business Masterminds. I will also include the link here. But you can hop over into that group and you can ask questions and we'll either answer it in the group or I'll do a short video on YouTube so you have the answer at your fingertips. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this, this channel. Have a great day.